Alright, so here we are with part 44 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In this video, we're gonna start, um, we're gonna continue more of Ganon's castle, as last video we destroyed the barriers. Um, anyways, so, most likely by the time you end up seeing this video, it'll likely be Valentine's Day, um, which... In my personal opinion, I don't really care for that holiday a whole lot. Um, for reasons I'm not really going to get into, but yeah. Um, hope you guys are, are at least having a great Valentine's Day if you're watching this video. For me, it's only January 1st, 2023 that I'm actually recording the post-recording portion of this walkthrough. But as mentioned before, you likely will not see this video until Valentine's Day. Yeah, it's kind of ironic that you're seeing that you guys will be seeing this on a holiday, on like the same holiday that I'm actually already recording on a holiday. Like I'm recording this on New Year's Day, the post recording, but you guys aren't going to be seeing the video until Valentine's Day. Yeah, holiday within a holiday. It's kind of weird, but yeah. Anyways, yep, so we yeah, got some enemies to face, you know, same old, same old. Not really surprising there. And that's pretty much what you end up doing for a little while, is facing a series of enemies before facing uh, Ganon. There's a treasure chest there, but yep, we gotta get rid of these guys first. <laughs> Too bad the fire doesn't actually stun them. Or kill them, rather. Whatever. Okay, why did I do that? That was... Yeah, that was kind of stupid. Why did I go into the fire like that? Oh, that's the boss key, without a doubt. <laughs> yeah, already we got the boss key. Sweet. Well, at least this one isn't as long as the other dungeons that I know of. Aside from those barrier parts, yeah, at least most of this isn't that long. The fact that we already have our boss key means we're already ready to face Ganon. But I think there's still a couple more rooms of enemies to face before that. Yep. Oh, Joy. The one, the few enemies I don't like facing. I think these guys are called Dark Nuts, but... Uh, I honestly cannot hardly really remember. Correct me if I am wrong on that, but I believe they're called Dark Nuts. Otherwise, I'll probably just find out on my own sometime after this walkthrough's finished. Now, these guys, as I said, come back in Wind Waker. And yeah, they're not... Yeah, these guys are not the easiest to face. Um... Yeah, I don't know why I hookshot those guys. I should have tried just using an arrow instead, but... For one, I didn't feel like wasting my arrows. And two, I wanted to save them for the... The Ganon fight, since, you know, I didn't bother upgrading to 50. Yeah, even with 40 arrows, I mean, I, I should be just fine. The reason I didn't get 50 was because, like I said... I didn't felt like trying to do that target shooting thing at... Gerudo Fortress valley or whatever with Epona because it just, for me, I feel like it's not really worth the, worth my time and spending all the rupees trying to get, try to get the upgrade on the arrows, the final upgrade that is. So I decided, you know what, I'll just stick with 40. 40 should just be plenty, so yeah. So even though we got our boss key, yep, we still have to keep climbing our way to the top. Yeah, I don't really need magic jars or arrows. I'm fine on that. I just... Okay, there we go. Now we're fully replenished on hearts. Oh, no. I think I went into the wrong door, didn't I? Oh, no. <laughs> Luckily, I corrected myself on that. I was like, oh, wait, no. That's not the one I want to go into. Yep. This is the door we want to go into. So I think th after this section, I think this is where we end up facing Ganon. Or at least come across a cutscene, that is. And of course, you know, because this is the final area, we got to make the stairs very, very long. 
Gotta make it very dramatic, you know, because that makes a whole lot of sense. Yep, Zelda's still trapped in that little crystal that we saw from earlier. Oh, shit. Literally, he's just playing the fucking piano. Are you serious? Yep, I already got my hearts replenished, game. Which I think is what was going on at that part there. You knobby freaking fairy. Can't even fucking do shit. Like, really? Oh, damn it. Yeah, I probably should have seen that coming. Oh, yeah, this was the point where I switched to the Master Sword because, um, for some reason, using the Big Goron Sword for me never seems to work out. But I still end up taking quite a few hits here anyways, or at this part. Yeah, the one thing I hate about this part of the fight is the frickin' thunder- the, the lightning ball shooting part. It's pretty annoying. Especially trying to keep up with it. it it's always difficult. Sometimes it goes pretty slow, sometimes it goes pretty fast, like... Right there- like, see, I don't even know how I missed that. That's so stupid. Alright, come on, let's try this again. Let's not miss, because honestly, it's gonna suck if I have to redo this part. There was actually an instance an instant where instance where I actually did end up losing all my hearts, but this was like the very first time I played this. This is only like my second time doing this fight since, you know, I know I did a practice file of this, but you know, that was like way back when. All right. Like, oh my gosh, see, like, even there, like, how did I screw that up? All right, come on. Yeah, I don't think I end up losing all my hearts, but it ends up being quite a close call, though. Okay. Hey, yeah. feel the power. The power of light compels you! Alright. Sadly, though, that's not even the last hit. It hardly really matters, though, because even after this part of the fight, there's still going to be another part coming right up. And, of course, I wasn't even prepared for that. Are you serious? That's such bullshit. Like, bro, are you serious? I wonder even if using the mirror shield would even help during this fight. I, I only wonder. But, it's not really something I'm really going to bother finding out, to be honest. Yeah, it, it gets really annoying just having to hit the stupid thing back and forth. And sometimes I get so impatient that I end up getting hit by the thing all the time. The stupid lightning ball or whatever. Of course, that wasn't even the last hit. Are you serious? I think my one mistake during this fight was not switching to the big Goron sword afterwards. But, oh well. Why did I end up using magic here? Oh, that's why. Okay. Yeah, definitely it recommended to use the spin attack at that part. Okay. 
You know, I never would think that that actually would do something, but yeah. Well, I can't even remember if that was the first time I ever did that. Oh, but I think I ended up doing it again. Nice. See, that actually is way better than having to use the freaking lightning ball just to hit him. Doing that stupid tennis thing or whatever. Oh, yeah, and because this is the original 1.0 copy, um, yeah, you actually get to see Ganon literally coughing up blood. In the later versions, though, they do try to censor it out a little bit, but, but barely by much. Instead, it was what he ends up puking out in the later versions, more like puke or some crap. Yeah, the blood ends up being, like, blue or green or something like that. I, I can't really... Recall, I'd have to rewatch the comparison videos that I saw on this to remember, but I don't know. Anyways, we defeated Ganon, um, quote unquote, and I say that in quotes because, well, you're literally about to find out here in a second, or maybe even not, since you guys already know what's going to happen. Okay, yeah, what the heck did I just do there? I messed up my camera. Are you serious? Why am I messing my camera up? This is so stupid. Alright. Yeah, I think I accidentally bumped into the camera or something. I can't really know can't really tell because I can't hear the audio, but I'm pretty sure that's what ended up happening. Yep, and of course we got the crazy music playing. This is actually one of my favorite songs for the final fight, the the soundtrack song called Escape from the Castle, or Gan's Castle, I think is what it's called. Yeah, pretty dramatic music, all right. Yeah, follow you, Zelda? Nah, I'm not going to follow you. In fact, I'm just going to race ahead of you. And then she'd be like, this ain't no race. Alright, um... Okay. Yeah, let's go. Yep, so basically, yeah, you have to follow Zelda and she'll basically break up, break the bars apart, like, just basically lift them up. How does she manage to do something like that? I have no idea. But, yeah. But, yeah, basically you end up getting more than plenty of time to escape from the castle. Oh, yeah, and I think at that part there, she ended up having some sort of freak out because, like, Link jumped in front of her or some shit. I don't really remember that for certain, but I, I kind of vaguely recall that happening when I was playing through this part. Oh, and I think, yep, right here at this part, she gets trapped, and we have to end up taking some enemies down. You know, honestly, it would have just been more nicer if the timer would just freeze for a moment, but nope. It still keeps counting down even when you're facing these guys, which is completely stupid. The worst mistake about this part was the fact that I didn't switch back to the big Goron sword. Which I probably should have done that, which I didn't. Because, yeah, these guys will just come back to life if you don't kill the other one off fast enough. It's just like how it was back in the forest temple. Um, come on. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, see? Right there. That's like more time being lost right there. 
But, th but of course, I think I started catching on to this by this point, and I realized, oh, wait, I didn't switch back to the big Goron sword. That was my one mistake, was not doing that. Yeah, because had I switched to that sooner, and I think I would have saved a lot more time. But anyways, yep, grab some of the hearts, and then... Yeah, of course I switch back to Master Sword, because that's pretty much what you end up having to do most of this fight anyways. I mean, I don't think it's really that you have to, but it's more... Of a, more of a preferred recommended thing since, you know, that's what Link ends up taking out of the pedestal to begin with. Thus, um, causing the seven year, uh, quote unquote time skip or some shit like that. Not quotes, but, yeah. I guess that is what ends up happening. Is, yeah, I guess that seven year time skip. Alright, I think we're getting close to the end, so yeah, I think I ended up doing this with just about a minute to spare. Or a couple seconds to spare, I don't know. Yep, and because I'm so lazy, yeah, I'm just gonna have these rocks hit me for no reason. I've already upgraded my defense anyway, so it's not a problem. Oh, of course, one of these guys has to spawn there. Jeez. Yeah, I think it's about less than like less than forty seconds to spare. the castle. don't really understand what he was hoping to gain by destroying it. I mean, look what good that did. I mean, Zelda and Link managed to escape from it. Yeah. I don't really know why, like, the, the bricks themselves don't wind up falling apart, but yeah, that's pretty much how uh, Ganon's castle collapsed in a way that kind of is hard to understand, but that's Nintendo for you. <laughs> You'd think. But you know, it's never Ogre. Well, Zelda, I think you might just end up getting yourself another chance. After I fix the stupid camera. That I don't know why I end up messing up so badly. Oh boy, I'd rather not find out myself. Oh shit, he's still alive. Damn. <laughs> oh, jeez. And I guess you could say that this is his true form, Ganon. Anyways, so, yep, there goes the Master Sword. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the finale when we take down Ganon for good. Later, guys.